Okay, so our next problem is to find the area under the exponential curve from 1 to 2 of e to 5x. And the point of this exercise is to introduce two new elements. First of all, we're not going from 0, we're going from 1 to 2, not much of a change. And the other one is to put in this 5, which will really give you a great example of how integration works psychologically. That prescription that I gave you of making an intelligent guess and then making the right adjustment to your guess. So what we need to evaluate is this integral. Do you see how here I'm writing x and then as I'm working it out I'm writing t? Well that's because I'm really not paying attention to what this variable is. It's called the variable of integration. It's almost not in the expression. Some people call it the dummy variable for that reason. This is a number. Even though x appears in this expression, the whole thing doesn't depend on x. It's just a number. So I allow myself to be a little sloppy with, what I, with the variable that I use inside. I just have to make sure that I don't use the same letter twice. So here's the thing. So mathematical notation is imperfect. The words we're saying are perfect, and then we write things that just give us enough of a clue to say the right words. But it, mathematical notation is by no means perfect. So it's always so very important to translate the funny symbols you're looking at into normal English words. OK, but the recipe remains the same. We have to find a function whose derivative is e to the 5x. And rather than asking you for guesses, I'll do a guess because I want it to be wrong. And my guess, again, don't be confused by the letter t. We're looking for a function whose derivative is e to the 5x because that's the function for which graph we're trying to determine the area. And my guess will be, because I know how exponentials work, e to the 5x. That's my guess. Because I know that exponentials produce exponentials when we take the derivative. And now I ask myself, is my guess exactly right? So what do I do? I take the derivative. And what do I get? Students who are ready for tomorrow's exam? Five. Five times e to the 5x. The chain rule. And by the chain rule, the derivative of this is 5 times e to the 5x. So I realize that the derivative of this is not what I want it to be, but 5 times more. So the adjustment that I make is 1 fifth. And that's really the only right way to do it. My initial guess was e to the 5x, based on nothing else but the fact that the derivative of an exponential is an exponential. So I'm just going to guess it's the same exponential. And now that I have this guess, I want to test it. Is it exactly right? And I take the derivative of this, because that's how you, all, that's how you test division by multiplication. So here's how I'm going to test my anti-differentiation by differentiation. And I will take the derivative of this, and I'll do it in my head, because I'm ready for tomorrow's quiz. And I will realize that the answer is 5 times e to the 5x. So I missed my target by a factor of 5. I want the answer to be e to the 5x. But the answer I'm getting is 5e to the 5x. So I have to put in a factor of 1 fifth to make up for that near miss. So 1 fifth e to the 5x. And that's correct. And I'll say, obviously, I say a whole lot more about this, but whatever you learned about integration by substitution, please forget it and relearn it the right way. If you are tempted to write u equals 5t, then please forget it. Okay, so we just essentially guessed it and adjusted it to, get, to make it exactly right. 1 fifth e to the 5x. And now, once again, we can add any constant we want. So which one will we add? We'll add the constant so that at the value 1, right, because we're now after this area, 
So the constant that we will add here, which by the way is called the constant of integration. Integration means finding antiderivative, where you're doing the antiderivative. There is always that floating constant. Why? Because differentiation always kills it. Its value at 1 should be 0. And its value at 1, as it stands right now, is 1 fifth e to the 5. So I need to subtract that, add minus that, which is basically subtracting the value of this at 1. Should I write times 1? No, I think this is fine. Just e to the 5, but it came from being e to the 5 times 1. I couldn't read this. e to the 5 times 1. Okay? All right? So now we have our answer for any x, but we're being asked for a specific x, for 1 to 2. Not from 1 to any x, from 1 to 2. So now we have to plug in 2, and we get 1. Let me just say what we get. 1 fifth e to the 10 minus 1 fifth e to the 5. Maybe I'll factor out the 1 fifth. I think that's appropriate. We have solved our third integration problem.